So I haven't recorded a uh, video in a while, as I've been fairly busy with uh, school. Um, well, actually, I did record some, but they haven't been uploaded because I have to edit them. Um, and videos that I have to edit always take forever um, because I don't really like to edit. Um, but I just figured I would make this quickly so because... Uh, Apparently, the algorithm likes it if you upload a video every week, so at least I'll have something for this week. Um, so yesterday I taught an Arduino class at the local library, um, and the culminating activity was basically building one of these. Um, so this one has some extra functions that the other ones don't have, um, because we ran out of time. But I just figured I would show it. Um, it's a relatively simple project. I It was an Arduino 101 class. So... Um, yeah. But when you power it on, you get a, a blue LED. Um, and then I have these wires here, um, which are connected in a parallel with that button. That go over here to... This is a pressure plate. So it's just... Piece of cardboard covered in tin foil, piece of plastic covered in tin foil, couple of wires. Basically, it's a giant button. Um, and this power bank keeps shutting off. So, anyways, pressure plate. When you step on it, it sets off the alarm. These lights start blinking. Buzzer goes off. Turns red. Um, so it's just a simple little project. Um. But it was fun to teach the class because I showed them a rough circuit diagram, but I wanted them to be able to make decisions themselves on what um, on, on what they were going to do. Um, maybe, I mean, because I, we, we really didn't have enough time is the only problem. Um... We should have covered programming in more detail because they had lots of issues with the programming. Um, the wiring wasn't too bad. A couple people had minor issues with the wiring. Um, but I, I spent the beginning of the class heavily focused on wiring, and then we kind of ran out of time for programming. Um, I mean, the wiring on this is a complete mess. Um... Because I didn't color coordinate anything, um, I didn't, like, pick, like, proper length of wires, I was just trying to get it done in time, because, again, the class was really quite a time crunch. Um, if I were to teach it again, which I probably will at some point, um, maybe next year, I would probably ask for at least another half hour, maybe another hour. Um, just so we can cover details like programming more. Um, but I, I'm going to take this apart now because I have absolutely no use for a, um, that. And I would rather not listen to it. Uh, these two buttons are just here to make it look more complicated. I was originally going to add some functions where I could make just the LEDs bling or just the buzzer ring and not the other um, and that's what these were going to be used for. Um, and then, of course, this is a pressure plate that you can, like, put under, like, a welcome mat or whatever. It leaves a little bump, but it's actually not all that noticeable. Um, it's pretty neat, um, just to show people, which is why I built it so I could bring it to the class and be like, here's a semi-practical application. Um, really semi-practical, it's has no real practicality, but it's at least better than just being like, oh, here's the blinky LED. Um, but a, a much more sensible thing would be, like, putting, like, a micro switch, um, on here that, uh, completes a circuit when the door is opened. Um, have it normally closed, and then when the door opens, the... Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, have it normally... Uh, no. Have a normally open circuit, and then when the door opens, it completes the circuit. Um, so that's also probably a more sensible way to do it, but I didn't have any micro switches in, uh, 
in stock, and I waiting for one from China wasn't plausible with the date this class was. Um, by the time I realized that having a micro switch might be a good idea, and besides mounting that on a door to demonstrate to the class is a little bit difficult. Um, so that's really all. I don't know, I figured I would record a demonstration of this before I took it apart, and I would record this so I have something recorded. Um, and that's really all.